What is up, comic creators? Uh, I wanted to actually give you a, a quick uh, tutorial here in regards to transitions. And so I have my footage here that I've been working on. Uh, this is uh, this woman walking on the beach. So I've got this first footage where she's uh, just kind of walking through the sand. And then as I pan over here, it just kind of snaps over to this next scene where she's walking towards the shoreline from behind her. And so what I want to do is make this not so jagged. I want to add in a nice smooth transition. And so the way that you do that is that little minus box box right there that's in between the two clips in your timeline click that and that opens up your options for uh, transitions and you've got multiple different transitions you can do uh, like for instance if I just click one right off the bat uh, that I like and um, I just uh, click you know let's say I did the shake 2 pro here click it and then I just click uh, the check mark um, it adds it right in immediately and let's say I didn't like it. I was like, eh, you know what? This is a little too much here I would just actually click the little icon there again That's in between the two clips and that opens up uh, The transition menu again and I can go ahead and change it And so I actually think I like the pull out or the zoom out um, One I feel like that looks more appropriate. It kind of is, is better for the clip I like to increase the amount of time it takes to transition So once I select it, I move this bar right underneath here um, and I uh, increase the time. I do think it makes it smoother and looks a little bit more professional. So I'll go for like 2.5 seconds. I think it's going to give it that nice little clean transition. And you'll see it do the example on the in your screen there. But then you click the check mark once you're ready to go. Now that adds it in. So now I've got this nice zoom transition in between the two clips. It looks really good when I play the footage here. Smooth. Boom. I think I really I really like that one. So that is uh, the how you do transitions in between clips um, and how you would add them. Now coming up here in the timeline, I actually zoom in on her again right there. Once again, very jagged. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add a transition there to make that smoother. Click the minus button again or that minus icon. I call it the minus. That's not what it's called. I'm going to do the pull in or the zoom in. I'm going to increase it to 2.5 seconds because I just like the way that looks. And so now I got that smooth transition again uh, going from the zoom in there so zoom and it looks a little bit better i think so that is a brief um tutorial a quick how to with transitions i hope that that helps you guys out it's really simple but that little step right there if you start doing that for your footage makes it look a thousand times better makes it look more pro those are the small subtle differences you can do uh, to really make your video pop and really make it look like man this is a high quality video so let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. Let me know if there's any other subjects you'd like for me to cover for CapCut in the comment section below. Maybe we'll make a video on it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects. And please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time, Comet Creators. End transmission.